Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be actually sharing my initial thoughts in regards to the latest girl group survival show Are You Next involved with b -Lift Lab, Hybe, and JTBC. Now everyone, I really wanted to provide my initial thoughts after the first couple of episodes because number one, unfortunately I don't have any friends watching this show currently with me trying to urge a couple of them to do so because I know what they've been through similar to me who I've been through of a lot of evil editing and horrible survival shows and all I had my fair share of things but I gotta admit right away I really love the concept to this survival show a track field concept with seven rounds the first round being the tryout round second round being death match third round all rounder fourth round the specialist fifth round concept game sixth round image training and last but not least the seventh round the finish line where they will end up debuting a six member girl group from the 22 trainees now it's understandable if you think about it just like the selection and consideration of how there's only 22 trainees on the show but after seeing the talent let's be real here the skill set and the talent amongst the 22 trainees got me thinking that they could have debuted with a seven or eight member girl group instead they could totally plan for one and even a japanese girl group because of the how amazing the j line is so far that's show being showcased on are you next uh here now just a couple of points here before getting into this survival show I want to share a bit of my background here. I had my fair share of survival shows, as I've said in the past before, the likes of 16 that ended up debuting twice, Win Who Is Next with Winner and Icon, and then following that, Icon with Mix and the Match. Probably the worst survival show that I've seen to date is Idol uh, School, and you could lead that, that up into the Produce series, Produce 101, 101 season 2 produce 48 girls planet triple nine one of the better ones was the unit i've got to admit in terms of the survival shows that i've watched so you know evil editing by mnet has prepared me for the worst to come honestly let's be uh, real here for those who are familiar with the editing from mnet in terms of filming and all other points are pretty much being concerned of how there are contestants as young as the age 16 or 15 on this show. I feel like nothing else needs to be said about uh, that just too young. And considering how cruel and brutal the industry is, uh, it just sucks seeing uh, some some individuals that uh, young uh, going towards a survival show this early into their careers. That I haven't lifted off yet and also into their general overall lives uh, lives I've got to uh, say and then last but not least I've got to admit I saw a Jiwoo TikTok you know clip and moment on my TikTok uh, feed that really got me interested in this show and then a couple of my fellow patrons off of Patreon wanted me to watch this show so they urged me to do so and I have no regrets so far watching this show now let's get into more so of the host and the coaches where I feel like you know the, the I, I really enjoyed the feedback and the advice but then there's another part to it that I don't understand so let's start with the host we got Sion from SNSD we love to see her on this show as well as Taeyeon simultaneously being on queendom puzzle as for the coaches we got park yuri from kara legendary iconic individual from a legendary girl group we got lee hyun joe kwan kim jae hwan incredible i would say individual artist that really throws on amazing performances with 
his vocal work. We got Aiki and Vincenzo and Mandu. So what I got from this, these coaches so far in, I would say the initial uh, round was really surprising. Really enjoyed the feedback and especially the future advice that was provided by Lee Hyun himself. Not only that, encouraging some of the low tier uh, placement of contestants and trainees that initially what they got from the first round that I will talk about later on soon here. And I just feel like attached to that is what, like what? The evaluations and results feel unclear and do not add up from what I'm hearing in terms of the feedback. Let me sit more my tea here as we continue. And then I would say from that first round and first episode, Aiki's initial advice to seize the opportunity when you have to stand out the most and all, uh, it, it stuck out to me uh, a lot, especially seeing how these performances are going so far because some trainees are regretting of not seizing the opportunity and especially when Aiki told them at the start, go ahead and try to seize the opportunity when you get it because when do you know is the next time you're going to get that kind of opportunity to show what you're truly all about. Now this leads into some of my general thoughts in regards to the tryout round, round one every one. We were introduced to a high mid and low level system and initial ranking from the valuations. Sure, that's whatever. Pretty similar to the ABC sort of system that we got from the likes of the Purdue series and all. Now, I feel like given the initial rankings and all the performances that were shown in round one truly exceeded my expectations and made uh, sense and correlated well with the initial rankings that were provided to these trainees I've got to uh, say but I gotta say without a doubt Miss Top Unit really took the cake for me with Jimin, Yuna, and Minju and their performance of Bad Girl, Good Girl by the legendary girl group, Miss A. They really stood out to me because they really did justice to the second gen legendary girl group uh, song. And it's not that often in current gen these days that do justice to the earlier generations of classics that we've enjoyed in the past before, quite admittedly. The other unit that stood out to me was Bad Me Girls, with Jiwoo, Jungun, Chanel, and they impressed me a lot with their vocal work and overall performance of Bad Boy, originally by Red Velvet. Very stable with their vocals, and I feel like they're going to continue to show even more as the show progresses on and on, everyone. And on top of that, I really liked the fun performance of Tomboy from the unit team I want with Mocha, Young So, and Moa. Very lively, fun with it. And the coaches had a good point of them enjoying the performance as they were showcasing it in front of everyone to see pretty much, you know? I think the con of the tryout round, it just sucks to see the contestants being sorted out into three levels because some low and mid level place trainees were definitely most definitely high level already or should have stayed at the high level you know i'm saying like why not give two of the contestants the high level but i think it has to work so that they could actually have this sort of system go on for the show nonetheless everyone now as we progress and progress we go into episode two with round two the death match. Now this is where I'm having some issues where the evaluations from the coaches are, you know, just from their feedback and then just from the results of seeing the higher level teams winning straight up from each and every single performance didn't make sense to me except for one, I got to admit. 
I liked how these teams played out and I was most looking forward to the give and take in team, believe it or not, considering how the song goes. I know that song most definitely through and through. And after watching the performances, I loved give and take in the most, followed by attention. And then last but not least, fearless. Now, in terms of my personal votes, different than the coaches' uh, results and voting for this round i gotta say low b took it for me for fearless felt more cohesive had less mistakes as well so i gotta give it to low b now in terms of attention i gotta stick with high a considering that they actually seized the opportunity and mid b didn't take significant part such as the killing uh part and the certain verse that provided more kind of showcase of their talents and skill sets and all Last but not least, the most criminal moment I've got to say so far is low A for given, taken, not winning. I felt like sure Hyde B had a different interpretation and vibe to the song, but let's be real here. Low A embodied how given, taken should be performed with powerful vocals and presence at the end of the day, everyone. So. It's unfortunate how those results uh, went, and I feel like benefits do come into play. But so far, it seems like international voting and voting in Korea and the valuations from, I would say, the coaches matter the most than these benefits, I've got to admit. Okay, now we move on to round three. I'm trying to keep this brief and uh, short as I can not to run on and straight to the point for y'all but for round three the all round around it didn't make sense before this to see Yuisa be eliminated in fact I felt like the likes of Enna who needs way more practice and training and still very very young she's the very the youngest on this show uh, right needs more time before going on a survival show like that this and then the likes of uh, of course hassle i would say even iris who doesn't have so far the right mindset and attitude i think we can all agree to this seeing the previews into episode uh, four quitting before that uh not wanting to uh sing and being discouraged being all negative in a rut when you start yourself with a negative kind of attitude, that's how it's going to be. You're not going to give a good performance, obviously. So I just feel like Iris needs to get herself together. And if you don't want to perform and continue and you just want to dance, then why are you here in the first place? You know what I'm saying? It sort of reminds me of like students who are taking school and, you know, spending money for schooling and not actually you know try harding in a school in the first place then why are you here in the first place so yeah it's unfortunate that we couldn't see more of yuisa i felt like she had a lot of growing room for this show without a doubt and all and yeah that's my points in terms of that i did feel like some low level contestants deserve to move to the high level in fact i was surprised the likes of jiwoo uh didn't move up to the high level but hey it's fine at least she moved up and i'm sure she's gonna move up to the high level after the next rounds or so now i don't have much to talk about the heel choreo it ended up playing out being the most flexible you choose your own song you gotta give it to hanwon's unit the most stacked unit out of the three coming through with an, a legendary iconic song the boys by sns the girls generation make you feel the heat right Hyewon, iroha yana chanel youngso jungin and jihyun that is stacked everyone i think so far like just with Yewon's unit, it was unfortunate to not see her to actually step up in a leadership role to help guide everyone in the team and really at least encourage them. At least, you know, if you can't guide them, 
encourage them, you know what I'm saying? And just seeing how that uh, played out was very unfortunate, but I just felt like they didn't prepare enough and there wasn't, you know, enough guidance amongst that team to come through with a really good performance for a very intricate song, everyone. And then we have four walls that's going to happen. Soyun's uh, unit with Minju, Moa, Jiwoo, Himena, Iris, and Enna. I'm really concerned about that group, just specifically due to Iris and Enna, especially Iris seeing that preview of wanting to quit and all. So hopefully that ends up being good with the fans and all. But last but not least, I want to talk about my top six as follows, everyone. I've been constantly voting for the likes of Jiwoo, Youngso, Iroha, and Chanel rotating so far uh, between Iroha and Chanel because unfortunately we can only vote for three contestants and trainees currently. And uh, yeah, I gotta just stick it on Jiwoo because I feel uh, like she really deserves to uh, debut. In fact, Pretty much all of the matured trainees that have really shown and proven on this show that they're capable of debuting just need to really practice more and more and, um, you know, go through these uh, rounds. They deserve to debut, but it follows as Jiwoo, Youngso, Iroha, Chanel, Yana. And then for the last seating right here, it goes between Gewon, Jungun, and Ruka, I've got to admit. Now, last spot, really difficult. I feel like Gewon is really underrated despite her showing and proving on the show. I don't know why Korea has her on low votes and all. That makes me super duper nervous because, you know, Korea and all these countries, especially Korea compared to internationally, right? Completely different favorites than us and all at the end of the day makes me worried about the likes of Jiwoo and Chanel and all but I really think she deserves so much more and I want to see her in a top 6 top 10 seeding as the show progresses Jungun she has really showed and proved and I feel like Ruka is more better than that performance that was shown for Dream of You within Ye was Ye Ye Wan's unit. Now, mind you, Ye Wan, I felt like uh, missing the first round. Um, she really goes, admits the middle of the pack uh, more so, and I feel like she can truly improve, but she doesn't have her skill sets and techniques down pat uh, yet. I feel like Ji Min has more to show after the first round and is talented. It's not like she's not talented by any means. But I feel like she has a lot more to show. And yeah, I think that concludes my top six. And not in any particular uh, order, but my number one pick, quite admittedly, is Jiwoo has left a really good initial impact upon me and impression. I feel like continuously I could vote for Young So, Jiwoo, Iroha, and Chanel and all. Maybe at some point I'll vote for the likes of uh, Yana, but... It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very competitive, everyone. I don't mind, you know, the over spotlight and uh, obsessive uh, focus on certain moments in terms of the editing because I've been through the worst already with Mnet survival shows and also this girl group survival show is pretty good so far. I can definitely tell you I've been enjoying it more than Queendom Puzzle because the fact that I have to watch through evil editing and unnecessary filler moments just to actually watch the full performances that have over edited in terms of reactions and uh, stuff like that and to also watch through all of that to actually get good interactions and moments it hurts me a lot everyone to see my favorites go through that so hey at least are you next is not that that brutal in terms of how they want to play their cards in Mnet and also all for the best for the trainees. We will continue to watch Are You Next on Patreon. So feel free to check out the Patreon. You're not obligated to do so. Let me know if you want to hear more thoughts about Are You Next. Let me know in the comment section down below. 
who are you wanting to see debut and of course how are you feeling about my initial thoughts uh, here but take care as always be sure to like subscribe as it goes a long way and it helps out the channel so so much this has been garrison as always and peace